This video is about false beats and how they can be detected and how they can be better measured. I'm trying to give you a better measurement tool so that you can diagnose the false beat more accurately and use it better in your tuning. It is a practical matter. The graph on the left is an acoustic false beat that is being picked up, perhaps by a resonance in the piano. It could be a rear duplex. It could be an undamped string somewhere. Or it could be a reflection happening within the piano itself. And you can see that there is a beat pattern going on. It's roughly three beats per second. So that would be a three hertz false beat. So the difference between the desired note and the one that is annoying you <laughs> would be a three hertz difference. So on the one on the right on the graph, you'll see that there's virtually no false beat pattern going on whatsoever, and that's being picked up by the motion on the string with a sensor. So the sensor is seeing if there is actually a false beat within the string itself, a vertical minus horizontal, for example. And you can see that it's virtually clean and linear in log magnitude on the y-axis. So let's play the one on the left being picked up by the microphone, and I will play that for you repeatedly three times. Now let's play the one on the right being picked up by the sensor, and I will play that for you also three times and let you hear the difference. Now let's look at the next graph and talk about what actually is happening in a more precise way of looking at it in the frequency spectrum. The graph on the left is the spectra of what is going on with the acoustic false beat. And the mic is picking up an interference, three hertz difference. And you can see that the desired one is a few dB higher, which is what we would expect. But what is that difference in cents of three hertz at that frequency, it's 2.54 cents. And what would happen in the ETD is it would smear these two frequencies for lack of better frequency interpolation. It could produce an error on your ETD as much as two and a half cents. Now let's look at the graph on the right being picked up by the sensor. There is no smearing going on. You get a very pristine, clean, 2,119 hertz signal on the fundamental. And therefore, the ETD is better able to resolve it. So that is the way you want to tune that to get that level of accuracy. Instead of getting a two and a half cent error, you get virtually no error using the sensor.